Hi guys and welcome to another video. What we're going to be fixing today uh, is the keyboard membrane or the keyboard itself, if you will, of a ZX81. Uh, this particular one, uh, let me get a closer look here, uh, is coming from 1980. It's the old original keyboard uh, used to be inside a ZX81. I managed to fix some a uh, couple of days ago and um, now I'm going to be doing the same one for the same um, repair for another one that I have and so we have the new membrane here coming from 2019 new uh, protection uh, better reliable material flexible and it's a bit thicker uh, it has some great adhesive uh, surface underneath and uh, it's far better than the original um, keyboard uh, that we uh, used to have inside our ZX81 and not to mention that this was prone to failure because of heat, uh, excessive heat coming mainly from the ULA uh, and the CPU as well. Uh, so but this one, the new kind of membranes are far more reliable um, and they are heat resistant up to a point of course and uh, much more flexible which uh, means that it will last over time much much longer so um, you can lift uh, the, pre the existing uh, the bad keyboard uh, using a flat screwdriver a small one uh, but might be uh, there might be a damage on the plastic so if you have this kind of tool the plastic um, uh, kind of uh, lifting tool with a angle uh, right there at the bottom it is it is the most convenient way to um, detach the old uh, keyboard and you, all you have to do is just uh, try to get uh, under the membrane and then uh, you pick a point and then you start moving the tool around and eventually uh, the keyboard will be detached now one interesting thing is that you might find glue around the whole uh, surface underneath the, the, the keyboard or you might find a couple of points um, on the edges um, well we, 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 you can only find out uh, by removing the old uh, uh, keyboard like this one used to have a couple of uh, stripes uh, of glue uh, near the um, uh, ribbon cable right here you can see some yellowing and on the sides of the keyboard only but in many cases there is glue like everywhere um, underneath the keyboard so you can only find out by the time that you uh, have uh, uh, removed uh, completely the old keyboard and this is how we start I pick this point and I'm going up and down to detach the old uh, keyboard like this and it's easy but it requires a bit of patience um, to remove the old keyboard uh, if you want it to uh, not to be destroyed you have to be gentle uh, remember that uh, there are some points like underneath the keys 8, 9 and 0 is where the starting point for the ribbon cable is and so if you compare it to the new one uh, which is going to be slide in uh, you can see that under 8, 9 and 0 is the actual uh, ribbon cable and so you don't have to apply any force around this area but rather go around the rest of the keyboard until you reach that point and um, the last point to uh, detach will be uh, exactly the, the place where 8, 9 and 0 keys are so I'm gonna go all the way around the keyboard uh, now lifting up the whole thing and it's easy go around it and lift it up by the time it is already detached and you can see it's the original coming from the 1980 um, it's, it's one thing uh, which is gonna be tricky is how to remove the stains from the glue on the key on the plastic case uh, you can see it's uh, there is glue everywhere uh, underneath the keyboard it's still sticky and it's perfectly <laughs> sticky after all these years but the main point now is if you want to get rid of this you can get rid of this but um, 
I'm thinking of uh, some way I can reuse it so I'm not gonna throw the old uh, keyboard away um, so I'm gonna put it on the side and uh, the main point uh, we have to focus on is to remove the stains and the remains of the 40 year old glue that is on the plastic case and then we shall just uh, slide in the new membrane and uh, stick it in place but the surface underneath should be clean like totally clean and uh, shiny uh, so we have to put alcohol uh, and remove all the stains from the glue as you can see it's everywhere uh, right on the on this plastic case and so we have to thoroughly clean the case and um, then we'll be ready to um, uh, stick and to um, put on the new membrane um, glue it into place and that will be all uh, but until then I need to clean it and um, require some effort and a lot of alcohol and some patience and so let me just do that try to clean the, the remains of the old glue and um, make it shiny like new and I'll get back to you in a minute all right I think we made it I think it looks good almost as good as new uh, I cleaned it uh, the best way that I could and I think now it, we are ready to um, stick the new keyboard uh, right there into place slide it in and put it into place and hopefully it will last for the next uh, 40 years as well <laughs> I mean like uh, the previous one hopefully so uh, uh, all we have to do now is to peel it off um, and uh, slide in uh, carefully the uh, ribbons uh, the ribbon cables right there and stick it uh, firmly onto the plastic case and that will be all and then we can test it uh, the keys one by one and um, I guess uh, uh, we can call it a wrap and successful um, maintenance so far for our uh, beloved system ZX81 is one of my favorites of all times and now here is the uh, previous uh, the original keyboard how it looks uh, the back side and you can tell the difference um, how the quality you can tell the quality of the new one comparing this to the old one uh, how much effort and redesign spent on the new membranes and hopefully those are uh, here to stay uh, the previous one uh, served the purpose for 40 years that's all right but uh, I think the new one uh, is absolutely fantastic and it will be there for um, uh, even more so I'm peeling off carefully the cover, the protective uh, film from the back uh, of the uh, keyboard and I slide in the ribbons uh, through the hole and as you can see stuck already into place onto the uh, case of the computer. The length uh, of the ribbons is good enough for so you can easily uh, mount the keyboard onto the connectors of the PCB without any problems again the, these are high quality um, uh, material and uh, you won't have any problems with heat uh, nothing uh, like the old ones and so it will be there for um, again hopefully for many many years so let's go ahead and uh, start testing the keys and what we have done so far now this machine has the composite out mod already uh, fixed and now I'm trying to see what is happening I wrote a single line of code something to be printed on the screen and apparently it looks good and so I'm happy with the results uh, I think this uh, membrane is a luxury we can afford um, to bring back our uh, systems uh, like the ZX81 I have another one here waiting uh, to do the same trick again uh, so so far so good that was uh, the first machine for the day I will do pretty much the same thing with the second one in a while and now I'm gonna be uh, testing the keys 
one by one uh, the way I should and it looks uh, good and I'm happy uh, everything works fine the letters the um, characters uh, symbol shift and enter uh, numbers and everything are in perfect working order so we have um, uh, repaired this uh, ZX81 today which is and it feels great and so cheers for now uh, thanks for watching I'll be catching you soon with another video uh, hopefully soon with another demo uh, hints and tips uh, modifications repairs uh, gameplay or whatever um, you know the drill if you like this stuff uh, please uh, give us a thumbs up consider subscribing and um, yeah I'll be catching you soon thanks again for watching bye